Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to run you through on how Excel actually executes a formula or which all step Excel takes to execute a formula, right? Now this is an important thing to know because once we start working on a nested formulas where you're using in the same formula, you're using multiple formula inside it to get your desired results, you need to know how exactly the formula is working because based on which only you would be able to use the other formula or you can use it as a nested one right so to get this to get this done we have the formula tab and within the formula tab we have something known as evaluate formula now if you click on this evaluate formula now if you see in the formula there is an underscore line now it just tells you the next step what it's gonna do so if you click and step in it's just gonna tell you what's the values it's gonna get from that particular constant and if you step out it just tells you this is gonna be apple so one step it's just telling you step by step now if you click on evaluate it just give you answer now if you click start it's going showing to go you again the same thing evaluate 313 so what it's doing is again if we click over here and we see g3 it converts g3 into apples the exact value then apples has been matched in c3 till c15 and whatever is there it calculates the sum in e3 and e30 and this is how this formula works now just for an example we'll go to one other formula which is a bit more different or maybe a bit more complex now if you click on the evaluate formula again now see first thing is going to do is the underscore one where we have h3 we click on evaluate it says it's grapes now if you see it's the whole formula is not uh, underlined right now the underlined one is the next step it's going to find out what's g3 so when we click on evaluate it says g3 value is 214 now the next step Excel would be finding out is 214. The condition we have given in the if formula is, is it lesser than 200 or greater than 200? It's gonna find that and return us the value in true or false. Now that's false. Now if it's false, it should look in C10 till E14. Now if we click on further evaluate, now if you see C10 in E14 is returned and because VLOOKUP is an inbuilt function, it's going to calculate the value where it's going to look for grapes from c10 till e14 and return you the second column number which is the rate per kg if you click on evaluate it says 90 and we get the formula now one example let's do if we change this let's i'll make it 127 and let's make it mango now if again if i click on evaluate first thing as we were saying it's h3 which is underline second thing is g3 which is underline 127 is smaller so it's gonna return true or false which in our case would be true this time now it's true it's c3 till e7 would be returned as the lookup range in for the v lookup if you see this c3 e7 return we evaluate again it shows you 100. Now, one important aspect in this for, uh, in this evaluation of the formula, if you see, now on every step, we are looking a step in function, right? Now step in is nothing where it just tells you, if you click on step in, it says H3, we look up, H3 is mango, click on step out, and then you click, it's gonna convert into mangoes. Now again, keep going in, and this turns out now step in and step out is nothing it just tells you a bit more details of that particular step of the formula which you are going to see i hope you understand this guys this is a important concept or an important tool within excel which can really help you to understand how the formula works thanks for watching this video guys